Hi everyone, now it's September 13, 2018. I want to tell you that I received two comments that are very concerning. One from a North Carolinian who said that when they walked outside last night, they saw a huge thick grid pattern over in the sky, over their head in the sky. We all know that this storm is manufactured. We all know about weather modification, geoengineering, weather being used as a weapon. Just because what we have essentially seen on these satellite images, the winds not being what mainstream media is reporting, it does not matter if mainstream media is lying about this storm. It doesn't mean that they can't produce 40 inches of rain. So, and I also want to say, you know, Hurricane Irma, so many of us had a feeling that what they were saying was just not going to happen. And that actually came true. Now, it's not to say that some people in Florida didn't have their homes flooded and some homes on the Keys were not destroyed. But it did not happen. It didn't unfold as mainstream media reported it would. I have a very different feeling about this. Very different. And I was thinking, is it because I happen to be in this hurricane's path? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I'm hearing the reporting differently. Because we know they can create flash flooding in an instant, and we have witnessed that flash flooding all over the country now, you need to be very careful with this one. Now, this is what In Truth by Grace got last night. Oh, before I go on, I do want to tell you the other concerning comment that I got from a subscriber who lives in Spartanburg, which is about an hour north of me. And she told me that a friend, <clears throat> a friend of hers got an email from Duke Energy alerting their customers of possible outages for weeks. Now, to get an email from Duke Energy already saying that you may have outages for weeks. That is unprecedented, but you really need to to act, to take actions according to what the powers that be are telling you through their mainstream media reporters and uh, government officials and companies like Duke Energy. So, in truth by grace, yes, it, it's a perfect title. Radar debut of Florence. Finally, Florence is on radar, and this is what it looked like 15 hours ago, and I'll show you what it looks like now in a few minutes. Thousands of radar Doppler um, data feeds that are generating this image. This cannot be manipulated, okay? The NASA satellite only comes from one source, and that's spacemen in outer space. They can do whatever they want to with that cartoon image, but this is what is actually there. And I want you to notice it is not in a cyclone shape. It is an amorphous storm that is pretty much popping out of nowhere as if there's a bunch of people in the water squirting squirt guns up at the sky. I mean, that's, that's what it looks like. It's not a fully formed storm. And the fact that this stupid thing is literally dodging buoys, honestly, I could just, oh, I could just scream. But, okay, so that's my update now for 8 o'clock on September 12th, 2018. And this thing's going to eventually have to come across some buoys. And as this gets closer to shore, this is going to have to show up on radar. If there's All right, so I will link below to In Truth by Grace's video. And... If you haven't subscribed, I suggest you do. She is following the storm. This is what it looks like now.
15 hours later. Wow. Okay. So, if in truth by grace is correct about they can't manipulate the radar images, and I'm not saying that in truth by grace is wrong, frankly, I think she's got a brain uh, that is, uh, well, <laughs> rare. It's a working brain. And, you know, I, I don't put myself in the same class anymore. So I haven't done any research to learn that they can't manipulate radar images. That's probably why we see so many frequency signatures in radar images because they can't manipulate them. So this is what it looks like now. They have blown this thing up. As you can see, it's walled off right on the coast of North Carolina. Still going right into Wilmington. Now it's going to be crossing over Little River. You may just no, no longer be. But the tracking is different. And once again, it it was last night it went into Georgia. Now it's, yes, it's going right through Spartanburg. Perhaps that's why Duke Energy sent out those emails. Then it goes on up through western North Carolina. And I'll, I, you know, there's so many videos that I post. And as I'm posting them, and I'm going through where I know subscribers live. Yes, I, I get a little bit distracted. And I immediately want to say, I hope to God everybody is really prepared for this. Then it takes a sharp, or kind of sharp, right and it's going right on up through Charleston into Pennsylvania. Areas where you have had flash flooding already. Okay, so we all know they can steer storms. So all of this is purposeful. Now Let's just watch the radar, and I'll turn off the tropical track. You can see the frequencies being used. As you can tell, this did not go any further north. It still doesn't look like a hurricane. But they are whipping this thing around. Um, now, it's been reported as a Category 2. I will link below to a video, FEMA, the director of FEMA, as well as a, a update on what this hurricane is likely to do for North Carolina. Your governor speaking just about 53 minutes ago. You can see the extremely low frequencies at the outer bands of this hurricane. Let me stop it and I'm going to go through it. So, you see all the frayed edges by the way. That is a signature of frequencies being used. You see this split right here. Signature of frequencies being used. And you can see the fine lines, the defined lines, frequencies being used. And they get even more defined. And you can see the Darker shade, colors, very defined, frequencies being used. 
So, yes, this is called weather warfare, guys. And war is not pretty. And war creates casualties. And you know, I just, I feel like bursting into tears right now. But I'm not going to do it. In six years, when I first started, there were so many of my subscribers who were very comfortable, absolutely fine. And I'd say maybe two years into my posting, suddenly subscribers started losing homes, losing jobs, unable to find work that was comparable to the work that they had. Subscribers have killed themselves. Subscribers have um, been destroyed due to weather warfare. Some have recovered. Some have not been able to. Look at this. It's so obviously geoengineered. Now if they can Photoshop these images, you would think that they would do a better job. But you can see the, uh, the frequencies being used in the satellite images as well. If you can get a generator, guys, in upstate South Carolina, get it. Go out today. <clears throat> Start shopping around. Get the candles, get the batteries, get the flashlights. You know, I came across a video last night. There was a store in upstate, in Anderson, South Carolina. Their batteries were gone. Their flashlights were gone. This whole thing is manipulated by man. This is a weapon. You're looking at a weapon. Please recognize this as a weapon. It's a hurricane bomb that they're going to be dropping on an awful lot of us. And when they say massive flooding, well, that is what is going to be happening. We're going to see massive, massive flooding. And North Carolina, and I'd say the southern half of South Carolina, you guys are going to get it the worst. I hope to God everybody stay safe, that you are prepared for this, and you're prepared for weeks. All links are below.